some box to put something inside um, and I, the idea here is to, to work with um, some different concepts but some concepts, concepts that even infants can uh, understand. So I have here three dice, one purple, one pink and one, one green and three balls, blue, pink and orange and three boxes here one box, there's holes just shaped as a circle. The other one is shaped only in square shapes. And the third one, there's circles and square shape. Okay? And you can see that here I put different colors in, this, in the shapes. Because the idea is first to present the resource for the infants because they are curious, so they want to try to pick all the box and feel the box and feel the shapes. And you can see that, you can even tell them, can you try to do this with your finger? What does it look like? It's like a circle? Yeah. And what's the difference with this one? Is it the same? No, you can get stuck in the corners because this is a square. You can do like this. So you can start to, to show them the difference between the shapes, okay? And after that, I will introduce the dices and the balls to prove them that we have two different shapes. One is a circle and one is a square. The idea with the colors here is to show them, is to help them to create the connection between the name and what the things that, that they can see. So when I said to an infant that I want him to or her to put the orange ball in the orange place in the box, they need to find what is orange. Is this one here is the same? No, it's not the same. Is this one here? No, it's not the same. Is this one here? Yeah, it's the same. So the infant can put it here because it's the same shape and the same color, okay? We will do this with all the resources. So the pink, the pink ball in the pink place. The blue ball in the blue place. When you put it here, we have a full box. With the infant shake, you can create some things because they like to do these things, you know. They will try even to put this out like this. You know, it is good because we can help them with the motor, motor coordination. We will do the same with the square. So we have a green square here, where we can put the green one. This is green, so they need to find one. Finding green one, they can put it. As a teacher, um, we need to show them how to put it. Because here, for example, if they catch this one, they can try to put the square here, and we will go, because it's a big hole. But the, as a teacher, it's our duty is to teach them how can, the, um, how can I identify the shapes and put it together? Because if they try to put it in a different way, it won't fit here. So we need to teach them how to do it, and then they will put it here. With the, the dices, um, because I couldn't find one like this for the balls, but these dices are really cool because when you hit them, they start to shine. And infants like to do this kind of thing. They like shining things. So when I put it here, I can sh show them that if they put it here and shake the box, the whole box will start to shine for them. Okay? I think this can keep them interested in that too, you know? They will try to catch the dices or shake them again, you know? And when they shake, they are doing physical uh, challenge for them, for the baby. So you are, um, at the same time that you are teaching them colors, shapes, we are teaching them physical challenge as well. And here we have the third box. 
we have in this box, we have different shapes, squares and circles. And the idea is to combine the activities. Because in life, you have think, usually you have something combined. It's different. <laughs> we can have just circles and just squares, but usually you have a lot of things combined at once. So the idea is to show that orange in the orange one, blue in the blue one, pink in the pink one, and green in the green one. And again, if they shake, just the dice will start, and they can see the difference. The dice will shine, the balls won't. So they can start to create these identities with the things, you know, create like new schemas in their minds, assimilate, as Pierre just said, that we, first we show something and they can assimilate, and then we introduce some other one to create another like level of shelves in their minds to understand different things. As a teacher, we need to think that. And because we are living in a multicultural environment, this activity can also uh, involve Maori language. So we can say kakariki uh, for green, for example. You know, <laughs> we can use Maori language. I can't remember all, the, all of them right now. Uh, to teach the infants the difference between English and Maori. And, and we will start to develop the language like a multicultural language for them. So this is for infants. Um, the second activity is for toddlers. And I decided to create something that we can work with imagination. And at the same time, try to teach them emotions. Okay? So I have here kind of a board that I will put here. So this is the imaginative part of the play because this is a just blackboard and I will show them that we have some items here that they can choose to create a clock, okay? And you can see here we have three different eyes. So we have a thinking eye because when you are thinking usually we do like this, we just thinking and we up our head and look into the, the sky. We have a normal eye, or look into one side, or to another, or even to in front of you. Then we have a sad eye. We can do like that sad, like cartoon thing. We have a mouth here, and this one we can be like a happy one, or a sad one. And the other items here will help us to create our plot. Okay? So the idea is to ask the others first, should we start with the eye? Which eye they want to start here? Maybe this clown is thinking. They decided that he's thinking or something. So I will ask them where I can put this eye here in my board. Oh, maybe I can put it here. Okay, so I will put my eye here. Okay. Okay, so if your eyes are here, where are our nose? Our nose is like here, it's like here. Oh, their nose is here, right? So they will, uh, they will uh, answer me that the nose is right here, right in the middle of the face. So I will ask them, where is the nose here? What kind of nose are clown thing? They, the, how have, have a, a nose, like usually red or with another color, but it's not like our nose, right? So it's this one here. Okay, so you said that it's in the middle of the face. What is in the middle of the face here? Here? Okay. So let's put here. Hey, look, start to create some shape here, right? So we don't have here a shape of a face, but when you look at this, we start to think about a face, right? After that, what do we put after our nose? Okay, it's our mouth, yeah? Okay, you think that this cloud this thing is thinking of something happy or sad? Oh, maybe it's, it's thinking something happy, right? He's in a good day today. He's 
really happy. He had a good morning, morning tea, right? Okay. So we're still missing something, huh? What things here we can put in our heads? Right? Maybe some tie? No, no, the tie is not in your head. The tie, it's here, close to your neck, huh? So in our heads, they said that we can put our heads. They are used to put heads because they need to use the heads to play outside. So if it's not here, it's here. You need to come in this part over here, okay? Right. So everyone here has hair, right? And the cow also has hair. Let's put some hair. Yeah? Okay. It should be pretty, huh? He's thinking, he's, he's happy, huh? So let's put some hair here. And let's put some hair here, okay? Yeah? Nice. So I said that we have a tie. Let's put some tie, right? And we have a tie here. And just to make sure, it's not like here, right? It's here, okay. So let's put our tie here, right? He is so fancy. <laughs> okay, but if he's thinking, if he's thinking, he's thinking of something, right? Maybe you think he's thinking about something, someone that he loves, his mom, his daddy, so he can think about it. Or maybe he's really happy because he's thinking about some delicious ice cream that he had this morning. I think both, maybe. But if one of the child said that if the cow is not happy, if it said that this cow is sad, if the cow is sad, because he doesn't have an ice cream. Or because he's missing his mom a lot. What happened with us when we are sad? You cry. That's good. Exactly. If you are really sad, if you are missing your mom a lot, if you don't get your ice cream or something, Something happened, we cry. When we, when we cry, what happened with our eyes? Tears. tears. Exactly. So we can put some tears here. Okay. So the idea here is that the teacher will do this, it will create this story with them, asking them what kind of eyes we have when we are happy. What makes us happy? What makes us sad? If you are sad, what happened with your eyes? So we are introducing some language. Tears, eyes, sad eyes, happy eyes, head, tie, hair, everything for toddlers. And the idea here is to help to ask them to create this with you. So as I was doing with you, what happened when something, when we are, are sad, what happened with your eyes? Is that because we will ask them to this question and they will answer and then we will start to create this. And this activity I'm putting in a cloud, but the, the good part is because we can put it and take it out, you can create anything. So if you decided to create something to teach Maori culture, for example, you can create like Papa Tonu, Papa Tonu Koen Hanginori and start to create the same thing, you're using the same word and you can reutilize your resources and help them to develop their imagination and their skills with, in this case, with emotions, for example. Okay? So this is our toddlers. And here, uh, for preschoolers, I decided to create a game specifically to develop Maori language and English language because, as I said, we are living in a multicultural environment and we have lots of children that, that knows Maori a little bit, knows English a little bit, but we can add here in the future in Chinese, in Portuguese, Samoan, you can continue to create this and enlarge their knowledge. This one is to develop Maori language, as I said. So we have here a memory card Okay, 
And I like the idea of this uh, activity for young children because young children like to help. They like to say that they can do something and show you that they can do something. So here, the, the main point of this game is to develop language, but they also can help us to develop the memory. So I can ask for one young children to count how many cards you have here, because the game starts with 24. So the children need to count from to one to 24 to see how many cards are here, and we are developing the language. We can ask to a different child, choose two others, and split, and ask them to put all the cards with the figure upside down. You know, we are at the same time uh, helping them to develop the language upside and the skills to put something to the different shape, okay? Um, because, it, because it is a memory card, so we need to place everything in a position that the children can. They can uh, look at the pictures when they turn around. Okay, and place it back if it's not the same one. Okay. So here again, look the way that I put. I can ask for children. Can you put the same amount of pictures in one color, in another column, in another column, so that we can start to create a patterns and numeracy for them? Like one, two, three, four, five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. How can we put this? Okay? And then we start to create the numeracy in their minds, right? Uh, for this game, I was thinking about Skinner and behaviorism because uh, when, you have, when you provide a, a child a stimulus, they can be more engaged in the activity, they want to play another game, another game, another game. So for this one in particular, the idea is to play once per week, okay? And after, when we end the game, we will count again how many cards each child has. And the child with the bigger amount of card, we will receive the great memory star. And they can keep it for one week until we play again, okay? This is good because they need to change, one, and here we have carrot, Maori. What is this? This is a carrot? This is a carrot. What is the name of this in English? It's carrot? Okay, it's carrot. Let's see. Why do you think that's carrot is? I have no idea because I couldn't do this before. So here, no, look, I have a carrot and a buraka. They're not the same. I can't keep these cards. And I need to put place in the same, pl in the same place that I pick it up and put it back upside down. And the second child will do the same. We will choose one here. I have a to tohora here. It's a whale. What is the whale here? Let's try to find. We we'll put it here. Oh, look. This is not a whale, but this is a carrot. OK, let's put it back. So the next kid, if you pay attention, you see that here we have a carrot. And here we also have a carrot. But in Maori. See? If you find balls, you can keep these cards and keep playing. Okay? And that's the card that will count at the end of the game to see how to, which children will receive the great memory star. Um, I'm, it's not here because I, I was thinking to put something to, to wear, you know, because I think children like to show up <laughs> their brides. And, and I think this is a good way to help them to develop modern language without thinking that they are studying another language, you know. They are just matching, they are just matching uh, images and names. And here, I, oh, good. Uh, I had some one picture of Sky Father and Mother Earth. One giving away Papa you know. Uh, so as the same concept that we have here and here is that you can continue to adding new images and 
the new concepts to develop in them. If you want to do a memory card in just numeracy, you can do the same. Just in, in Maori colors, you can do the same. So you can help them to develop more than once, more than one skills at the same activity. And preschoolers like to do that. And even when you finish, preschoolers will love to tie up the things and show you that they can do this faster or better or upside down, put everything together or something like that because all of these little things can help them to develop the language by themselves. And that's it. It's pretty much.